18 months, photographer Christine Webster has been living in Paris. Her work has been widely exhibited in Europe, as well as in New Zealand. And she's the latest winner of the Francis Hodgkins Fellowship. The bold imagery of Christine's large-scale photographs has often sparked debate. I had a lot of flack when I was at Polytech in 1979. Um, this was a time when documentary photography was heralded really as being the only way. And I was trying to work in staged or directorial photography, which, um, which seemed to be fairly closely aligned to fashion photography at the time. And um, I particularly recall an incident where it was a print criticism session where I'd done a photograph in, in a subway, which was a set up shot. And uh, several people asked at the time, was it set up or did you find it? Because if it was found, it, um, it had a lot of merit, but if I'd set it up, it, it had no merit. <laughs> of gathering ideas there's a lot of different sources sometimes it's an object sometimes it's an image I see in the street in a way I'm gathering something from what's happening in my life at the time and if you like it's like a, a residue and that residue nourishes my work While Christine was looking for an apartment in Paris, she was also looking for a model for her next photographic series. She found both in the suburb of Neuilly. Her new landlady, Sarah, an American who'd been living in France for 17 years, became a close friend and her new model. good like that. Okay, now, now, if you can think as if you're looking back, looking back on your life. It's very important that um, when I work with somebody, we have a kind of mutual understanding, like a, a trust and a, and a rapport, so they know what I'm actually getting at. Very thoughtful. Just raise your eyes up a little bit. I guess a, a photographic shoot is like an exploration in a way, and very often I find that what I need or don't need becomes very evident during the actual shoot itself. You're going to be turning a little bit that way, okay? Yeah. And you're dropping your eyes a little bit down. It wasn't very easy to locate a English judge's wig in Paris, and as it turned out, Denny Poulon had a collection of uh, antique judges and lawyers' wigs. Yeah. Doesn't matter already if you can see your hair; you know, it's normal. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows it's a wig. The images that stay with me most uh, usually have a an ambiguity. I like something that isn't too obvious and that stays with me over a period of time. Although I like the women in my images to be extremely strong and assertive, they, um, they're not angels, they have uh, every aspect. Like for example, in the image I did of Sarah as the seducer, um, she has a fencing mask on. It's about seducing but at the same time protecting.
Cotum de Paris is a place where you can search through literally floors of costumes and you can find just about anything you can imagine there. With accessories or props, I always try and keep it very simple. Vous avez quelque chose plus simple en noir? Oui. I think the the main problem can be overcomplicating or using too much. It's all about um, stripping down and and um, using only one element or two. So the accessories themselves become like symbols or basic elements. Oh, c'est bien mieux. Et le chapeau? Oui. I mean, even with the military uniform, which is a bit of an exception, it's still just a symbol, like all the other accessories. Take it down. I think working with Sarah was a very interesting experience because she has uh, so many elements to draw on. Because I always worked with people of my own age, it was really interesting to work with somebody who'd had uh, a lot more experiences of life. You OK? <laughs> yes. OK. I started to think about, about her and about people in terms of roles that we have to play in life. Welcome, my baby. <laughs> the roles don't only apply to women. For example, a man can be a rescuer, a provider, a seducer, or a child. I'm just losing your hands a touch. I just want to sort of, I'm just, no, they look, they're a really nice shape, but I'm just trying to get the light. Obviously, some of the images probably refer more specifically to women. I'd like to see it as crossing the board, as being roles that are played in life generally. Very tender. Okay, that, that's a nice position. Can you just swivel your whole body, you know, a little bit the other way? Colour is very important. For example, in the series with Sarah, the only really strong colour that's used throughout is red, dark red. Can you, can you breathe with it? That's good, that's good. Well, I never thought of myself as being very pretty woman. I was always sorry that I wasn't beautiful, but you know, at my age now, all of a sudden I see something that she's captured in me that I'm, I have, I'm quite proud of. I, I think I have dimension, which is perhaps even nicer than beauty. And she's shown it to me. Basically, I like color and grain and gloss and I manipulate the film and printing process to achieve that. I like the texture of grain because I find it very beautiful to look at. Grain actually brings out the, for me, austerity. So I think if it was less grain, it would be too smooth. During her stay in Paris, Christine would sometimes arrange to meet another New Zealand artist, Julia Morrison, a painter and photographer from Christchurch. It was a chance to compare notes on living and working in France. Mm -hmm.